All right, first and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Kakradash. Want to give double honor to the apostles of GMS that rule of well. And uh, peace, bless, and salutation to the hopefully elect, to you Israelites scattered, to Israelite, Slaki, Hebrew Israelites scattered abroad, the hopeful elect. So this is not going to be too long. I don't, you know, look. I want to play the video, but for some reason, it seems like every time I play a video, I get a, um, how you how you call it, flag, whatever. But, you know, this is Gloria Steinem, you know, one of the Edomites. And this is going to be titled, you know, A Brief History of Esau. You know, a lot of their witchcraft, their sorcery, their magic, you know, left-handed attributes that um, has been allowed and been given to them. You know, this is part of that you know, a snare in the trap that um, Esau enacted on the earth. And this uh, women's rights feminism has destroyed the earth because due to feminism, sexual liberation, and the birth control pill, and then the destroying of the, the man, the role of a man, the figure of a man, the image of a man, and um. You know, to bring into bringing that new world order, they had to deem men as misfits, um, toxic masculinity, because you know they had to demonize men's attributes of protection and you know fighting, killing, and you know um, being rebellious, because you know they had to throw that that whole uh, way of thought down to bring in the new world order, because if men, you know, had a purpose, if men had families, men had their wives. Men had their children, and men had a substance, you know, uh, uh, why do you call it substance to, you know, live upon. I mean, it, 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 it would never have been no new world order, you know, because men would get together, they would fight. They would fight the government, they would fight the higher ups, they would fight the elites, it would be a problem. You know, it would basically be blood on, on the street. And none, none of their, uh, um, their goals for the new order would, would have came into effect. So they had to throw down the, the you know, the whole role of a man. That's why, um, you know, you ask these little boys or you ask the, just the common folk out here and, you know, they can't tell you what a man, the purpose of a man and, and same thing with a woman. You know, you had uh, that, I forgot, what, I forgot what the hell it was. Um, I think Danny Welsh. And he basically went around asking women, what is a woman? And they couldn't answer. And, you know, this is all, you know, the, that was this was all the goal and the agenda to push upon the four corners. Now, I'm going to, let me see real quick. Damn it. Woman. This, yeah, this whole word right here, submit, subjection, it's like kryptonite to, the, to these women. But when you go into reality, these women sub, sub, subject and submit themselves to their careers. So, and again, you know, Esau had to bring in the woman make them worldly and, and take them from underneath the, you know, it's natural for women to love and fall in love and, you know, really start following a man because that's what they're here for. They're here to cook, be feminine nurturing, but um, due to the reprogramming of the woman's mind and, you know, this video, this message is for you so-called Negroes, Latino, Hispanic, Native Americans, but, you know, in the society that we live in now, you know, Esau, the Edomite woman, Shedomite, you know, she was the spokesperson. And then she, and at the end of the video, she actually said she also wanted to bring the black, so-called black woman into the mix because she saw, you know, she so, so-called claimed she was being oppressed. But how were you being oppressed? By, by Massa. That's how he was oppressing you. So again, you being, you know, basically an easy target, she knew that, um, you know, to come get you, the so-called black woman I'm speaking on. 
You know, she didn't get any other type of woman on the, on the planet. She got you because she knew you were so emotional, distraught, you know, worldly as hell. You know, you 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 know, you wanted to be a uh, part of the society, and you also and again prior to um, you know the eighteen hundreds and the early nineteen hundreds, uh, yeah, you did have a lot of so called black women that was uh, had in, that was going through a lot of injustice, but due but due to the hands of Esau. But they flipped the script and they and they turned the narrative that they said they said that so called black men was doing it. So, but it says uh, Peter three and one. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husband, that if any obey not the word, they also may may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. But when you hear the conversation, of a lot of these women, the wives are, are, are you know of the women. The wives that belong to these men, you know, it's adulterous. It's, it's uh, you know, a constant, you know, um, distraught. They're never happy. They're not satisfied and saturated with desire. You know, they wear wanton eyes. But this is all due to the, you know, the reprogramming of the mind of the of these women out here. While they behold your chat's conversation covered with fear, but these women that they, they don't hear, there's no fear, there's no shame in these women. You know, there's no license. I mean, Esau will literally give them these women a license to commit adultery, be a whore, be lewd, be naked, um, party, drink, sleep around, be promiscuous, be a whore, etc. You know, then they give them, you know, little uh, tink tinkets or, or little go goodie bags or goodies for when they do act up. Because, again, they tell them, you know, once they're, they're, ho they're whored out, slutted out. You know, they mess around, you know, there's always some old nigga that you can just find, pick off a tree, and then he, you know, that's why um, Kevin Samuels hit hard like he did, and that's why, uh, the, you know, the red pill thing came like it did because, you know, men never had a, a voice because these women were so elevated for so long, for decades, and for generations, and Esau also always said that all it takes is one generation to uh, to fulfill his agenda, you know. So it says, uh, who's adorning, let it not be that outward adorning of the plaiting of the hair and the wearing of gold or the putting on a, of apparel. But, you know, when you look at these women, all they th all they think about is the glamorous glamorous life. You know, they remind me, off top, reminds me of uh, th that uh, group, Three Times Dope, Dividends. You know, all these women want is your money, your attention, and your money. You know, but when it comes time, you know, to really do things for you, nothing, you know. She, and if she does do anything for you, it's for something, you know, it's for her gain and benefit. So, going back out. So it says, yep, Proverbs 30. Chapter 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far but rubies? Yep, because, you know, in this society that we live in, Esau, you know, again, they allow these women to really believe that they're men. And it's, it's funny to me because they demonize men, but then they tell women to be like a man. And these women really try to act like they're men. You know, they try to. They, you know, the whole narrate, if men can do it, why can't we do it? Oh, well, I guess only a man can do it, huh? You know, that's a, that's the mindset of these women. They're envious, man. You know, deep down inside, they know they can't live without us. But again, due to all the confusion, because this is uh, America doing the Atlanta confusion, this is how these hoes operate. This is how these, this is how these hoes operate. The heart of her, her husband do safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. And the thing about it, you know, you can't trust none of these women, man. You know? And I don't even trust my own fucking mother. And um, she would do him good and not evil all the days of her life. But again, you give woman, you know, a little uh, inch, you know, she's going to take five fucking miles. You know, these women, you know, this, this, this whole... That's why men are getting passports and leaving and going abroad. And um, it's so sad because you, you, the same women that'll sit there and talk shit about you, they're the same ones getting passports and, and, and having that evil eye. You look across the goddamn uh, resort or you look you look across somewhere walking down the street, it's one of these fucking, these fucking nigger women or the, 
these women, she's uh you checking you out with, with her with her fucking uh glass big ass glasses on, looking you up and down like, yeah, nigga, I'm here too, you know. Um Closet three and eighteen. Closet, yeah, why well, submit yourself unto your own husbands that is the fit as it is fit in the Lord. And it's funny, man, because <laughs> These women always trying to throw, um, you know, something in front of, you know, that that word submit. God is my husband. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my husband. And all this, man, bitch, you completely out of fucking order, you know. Um, we all understand here, and this is the old, well, she was younger at the time, but she's again, she's still an old bitch. And she's still with the with the with, with the fuckery. It's an um I forgot his name, man. Um he was on that nigga five five Shiki, whatever, on the roommates. I forgot the nigga name. Um Let me see. It should pop right up. Damn. There, there he is. By Warren, Warren Farrell. This guy right here. He was, uh, <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, this is the good one, the boy crisis. And he goes in to say he was one of those guys that, in the beginning, he wrote. Basically, he was like the spokesperson. He was another, basically, like a a pawn in, in the seat to push um, feminism until he realized, like, hold, hold the hell, hold the hell up. Now it's just, you know, all about women now. What, what about the, the concern of the boys? You know, what about the, the men? You know, what about the crisis that's going on with the men? You know, now it's, it's just all about women, 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 women dominating and overthrowing the men. What the hell is going on? So now he's coming out with a base like a counter, you know? So, one moment. I'm just going to go through. I'm going to start at verse 2016. So Sirach 25 and 16. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. And see, prior to, you know, um, the feminist movement, you know, they had you believe that women were so were just remarkable little angels. The princesses could do no wrong. You know, they were charming. You know, protect the woman, 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 protect the woman. She's, you know, protect the woman, protect the woman, you know. And then the whole time... The reason why he's protecting this bitch so much because she's have she's out here doing a lot of fucking fuckery. So it says, uh, the wickedness of a woman changes her face. So remember, you know, I remember it's it's a, a channel that I used to watch back in the day, and this guy made some good points. I'm not gonna sit in front. Um, I think Anthony Spades, he he, he went into that one one time in his videos. He uh, basically uh, brought out that um. You know, signs of, you know, a woman that you don't want to be around. You know, when you see a chick, she's constantly putting all that makeup on. She changed her face and, man, you know, she changed her hair, wig. Beware of that bitch, man.